if you want to know where I'm coming from, you have to know where I come from. This is the house in which I grew up. My little brother and I planted this tree decades ago. Here in the front lawn, we used to throw around the ball and on this sidewalk, I used to carry newspapers in my first job as a paper boy for the Calgary Sun. A lot of great memories here. You might not live on Shaughnessy Drive, but you probably do recognize it. It's not a lot different than the street that you probably live on. It's one of those places where families work hard so that tomorrow will find them further than today, that their kids will be a little better off down the road than they are, and where people fight their own battles, but they also look out for each other. It's one of those neighborhoods where you have hope that if you're a young person, you work hard, stay disciplined, make some sacrifices. You can literally do anything in this big open country of ours. That's the hope. But lately, that hope has melted away into worry for a lot of families. Worry that they can't afford the price of tomatoes or peanut butter to give their kids a nutritious meal. Worry that they'll never be able to afford to even go on a vacation again. <laughs> that is, if you could ever get a passport in this country. Worry that they're, they might be 28 or 29 years old, still living in the basements of houses just like these ones here on this street. Worry that they can't afford to run their landscaping or a carpentry business because putting $2.50 diesel in a truck like this is not affordable for the average working guy. That's the worry. And what's worse is that when people share their worries, when they speak up, the Prime Minister cracks down, censors what they can see and say on the internet, calls them ugly names because they disagree. That worry persists on streets just like this one. And a Prime Minister who doesn't understand that worry because he doesn't come to places like this, let alone having grown up in one. He's far away and often I think he forgets about the people who live here. If you're one of those people who's worried, but who is willing to have hope one more time, willing to believe that we can once again be a country where hard work pays off, where your dollar retains its value, where you're free to speak, where good, decent, honorable people are respected by their government, and in fact, where your politicians are your servant and not your master. If you could believe that we should have hope that one day you'll take back control of your life and that this will be the freest country on earth. And let me tell you something. I know where you're coming from because I come from that place too.